to Mr. Sanchez and his man. Today, we're going to be talking about 5.4D, recognizing the difference between additive and multiplicative numerical patterns using a graph. So let's get started with this first word problem. A coach was buying t-shirts for his team. After the purchase, the coach was trying to identify how much was the shipping fee. Use the table below to determine the relationship between the cost for each shirt and the cost after shipping. So here you have a graph. It has the X axis at the bottom and the Y axis uh, vertical. And now I have to create an input output table with the order pairs. So what is the order pairs? Let's match that first dot over there. Let's first represent X. In the X axis, we have 12 that each shirt costs $12 and the cost after shipping that is why it was 12 and 5. We're going to repeat the same for all of them and that means 13 and 13 and 5. The other one is going to be 14 and 14 and 5 and the other one is going to be 15 and 15 and 5. I think that this one is pretty easy, right? Now we have to determine the numerical pattern. It's going to be here in the middle of this input output table. So it could be y is equal x plus something or y is equal a times x, right? So here, let's start with addition first. Y that is 12 and 5 is equal to x that is 12 plus what? Yes, plus 5, 10. If I do that, I just have to write the equation for the rule in my input output table. Let's see if this one works. 12 and 5 is equal to 12 plus 5, 10. How do I know if this is correct? I'm going to just to apply the rule to the entire table. If I do that one with the next one, I add 5 tenths more, it's gonna be correct because look, 14 plus 5 tenths, 14 and 5. 15 plus 5 tenths is gonna be equal to 15 and 5. With that being said, the other option wasn't there. My formula was that one. So what is the cost? The cost for the shipping was only 5 tenths of a dollar. Now, let's apply the same procedure for another word problem. At an office, the boss bought food for his employees. At the end of the day, he saw the following chart that represents the relationship between the employees and the amount of food they ate. Write an equation to represent the amount of, of, of food ate by each employee. So now I'm going to do the same procedure. I'm going to create my input and output table with order pairs. Here are my order pairs based on the information that we have in the graph. Now I have two options. Whenever I do the first option, it's going to be equal to 6 as my y is equal to 2 plus what? Could be 2 plus 4. Yeah. So that could be the first answer. Now let me see if I apply the rule. It's going to be correct. 7 is equal to 3 plus 4. But my y is not 7. My y is 9. So mm -mm, that one cannot be. This is wrong. So that means that the equation that it should be or that the rule that we should follow, it will have to be six something times two. So that's something, how can I find that? It's gonna be two times what to get to six? Three. So the rule will be multiply the x by three. So it will be equal to six is equal to three times two, six. And then I'm gonna apply the rule to the entire table. Three times three, nine. Three times four, 12. 3 times 5, 15, 3 times 6, 18, 7 times 3, 21. So with that being said, each employee ate three foot throughout the day. Now you know how to identify patterns in a graph. Thank you very much, guys. This was Mr. Sanchez and Kismat. Today we were recognizing the difference between additive and multiplicative numerical pattern. With that being said, now you can take some notes. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, guys.